We're back again here. This Jeep, uh, it's 1994, Jeep Cherokee XJ. Pretty straightforward, it is a country model, but that's not gonna matter a whole lot for today's video. And today's video will apply to other years. We've got the rear tail gear, the hatch, the struts are, well, they're completely removed at this point. It's almost completely removed, this is how I bought it. But um, I've got one still hanging here, but uh, you can tell it's got no, nothing left in it. It's just uh, really hanging, so it's not holding the hatch up. And the hatch is actually pretty heavy if you don't have any shocks to help hold it up, or struts in this case. So the first step is going to be to open the thing up, and then I will always wedge a two by four in there just to hold it up. And then you're gonna to wanna to disconnect both sides. I'll show you how to disconnect them now, but I'm gonna adjust the camera to do that and then I'll put the new ones on. It's really easy, really straightforward. This video will apply to any Jeep Cherokee 1984 through 1996. I think it's probably gonna be the same for 97 to 01. I've just never owned one of those Jeeps and uh, I've never replaced the struts on them, so I can't say for certain. Let's get in here and show you what I'm looking at. So here's what we're working with. This is, um, this one's been halfway disconnected on one side and then the other side is still attached, but you can see there's no resistance. The strut doesn't work anymore. And they're pretty much all gonna look like this. They could be um, chrome up here the whole way and have just this same concept, but with chrome. So they're all really straightforward. And I believe most of the struts that I've worked on work the same way for these hatches. You see you've got this black plastic piece. It all looks black, but this is plastic. And then there's this metal little retaining clip in here. It almost works like a snap ring in a way. So you need to pry that out. You can do it with a flathead screwdriver or a pick tool. You're gonna pry that out, and then you can really just pop this thing off. Sometimes it'll fall right off. Other times, these can be greasy, so careful. But other times, you may want to put something in there, a pry bar, and then pry it down, or just pop it off, pull it, yank it real quickly, and that should go ahead and remove it. Now, on the bottom side, oh, careful, butter. I don't want this to uh, fall on her. She's a, she's a wide load. Uh, on the bottom side, okay, we gotta remove her. On the bottom side, well, <laughs> yeah, bottom side is on the hatch, but it's being covered up. So let me flip my light around and then I'll show you this side. It looks like this, and it's the same concept. This is what uh, that strut is actually popped onto. It's this little bead or this, this little ball sphere. So same concept on the bottom side. Um, I believe you will have a retaining clip on the bottom side as well. If not, you may not have a retaining clip, you just pry it off. So I'm gonna do that now and then I'll show you how to put the new ones on. Okay, here's what it looks like. I'll try not to blind you but it's been removed. It just kind of fell off. And um, man, not great lighting. Oh, and the rest of the clip just shot off there. So it's basically this retaining clip. It's a metal retaining clip. And then the little socket, and it pops right off. And I'll get the new ones. Hopefully I don't have to reuse the clips on the new ones, but I'll let you know. I bought cheap ones off Amazon. Okay, these are the cheapest ones off Amazon. It's a set of two. Um, they do come with their own clips. They appear to be pretty much direct replacements. They don't have any part numbers on them, but uh, for comparison, <laughs> they're pretty stiff. I'm not gonna pry on them too much, but they are relatively stiff. They don't just freely open and close. Now the retaining ring is on top of it already. So I don't need to do anything with this. I can just pop it on. And there is a retaining clip on the bottom as well down here. So let's see if we can do this. We're gonna do it on the other side since my two x four is not in the way of the other side. Okay, fire in the hole. So, man, the lighting's just not gonna be good, but you got a thin side and then a fat side. Fat side goes on the bottom. Thin side goes up top. Or 
Sorry, uh, the opposite. This thin side goes on basically the Jeep and then the fat side goes up to the hatch. All right, and I'm thinking they're side specific. Yeah, they are side specific, so be careful. Don't try to install the wrong one on the wrong side. Now these little, um, the balls that you're pressing them onto, it may help to put some grease on them. Okay, I just hammered that on there with my hand. All right, let's see, because it's gonna fall now as soon as I pick this up. Yeah. So that the wood doesn't hit the camera. Hmm, would be better with two people. But it works. Oh, it'll almost hold itself up with just the one. Now I'll get the other side. We're gonna have to let this fall a bit. And that's it. Basically now your hatch, or your, uh, whatever, your rear hatch, this thing, that should hold itself on there. Let's see. Let's see if anything breaks. So far so good. Ooh, that's nice and stiff. Still closes. Let's see. Oh, it's gonna launch itself up. Wow. That's impressive. They were great, like 20 bucks off Amazon. Maybe careful if it's flying up this quickly, don't just let it stop itself based on the, the hinges. That'll probably wear them out over time. I'd recommend holding it and guiding it up, but that'll do it. So that's gonna wrap this video up. On to the next part for this thing. Thanks for watching.